Alrighty, so what's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing botghost.com, I'm not really sure, it's like bot host, but there's a G there. So we're just going to log in, and once I log in, I'm going to uh, just talk you guys through it. Alrighty, so I just logged in, as you guys can see, I already have a bot. My bot doesn't really do much, but I'll explain everything, it's kind of like me6. That's like the panel, I guess you could say. The user panel is very friendly, meaning it's very simple to use. And if you guys get this video to 20 plus likes, I'll buy premium and um, talk you guys through how premium works and stuff like that. So uh, let's just start. Uh, we'll start from the top and we'll go down. So we go to settings and you guys can see this is the bot token. You do not want to show your bot token to anyone because when you have a bot token, you can um, obviously take control of the bot. Um, as you guys can see, my bot is offline, but I'll show you guys how to turn it back on. And, um, if you guys look, you have to enable the privileged, privileged gateway intense, meaning they had an update within the Discord developer portal. And so far, I know that I have a Discord developer, uh, license, meaning I spent $25 on discorddeveloper.com and I got a license so I can host bots and stuff like that. Uh, that's also the way that you get um, store pages, which I'll show you, which is up here. This is a store page. It advertises a game that you own or something like that. So let's go back to here. And so you guys can see premium tokens available, zero, because I already um, have mine. And if you uh, go to premium, then you'll get more bots or more tokens. Then you get your invite link, meaning you can invite your bot to your server. It says your basic, uh, your subscription, which mine is basic, and then you can log out of your account and delete it. Then down here, you can change the prefix and you can change the status. But as you guys can see, with premium, you can change it. So right now it says created and hosted on botghost.com. That is the custom status. But once you get premium, you can change it to whatever. So mine is called the Ultimate Gaming Lounge Helper. I could change it to Helping Ultimate Gaming Lounge. Then on documentation, we're not going to open that up because it opens a whole new tab. That's their policies, legal fees, stuff like that. Then you guys can see the premium. There's lifetime, yearly, seven months, and monthly. If we do reach 20 likes or more, I'll buy the monthly. And then we can do custom messages, all of these premium features, and stuff like that. But let's skip this general category and start going down to the modules. The moderation has been updated, so you guys can see that there is a audit log, which you can turn that on. And when you turn it on, uh, it'll automatically start sending logs to your channel, which I don't need that on because I already used me six. So let's save the changes. And then you can turn on all of these commands. These commands are custom, and you um, you can easily use them or edit them. And once you turn them on, they're fully functional. So it is very, very friendly and very, very useful. I don't need it because um, I already have another bot that does it. But if you guys do need it, it is very simple. You just turn it on and then you can use it. I would use it on one of my members in the server, but I don't think they would be pretty happy if I banned them. So let's go down to announcements. So announcements is updated. It has a pre-setup and you have to do that through the Discord developer portal. Then you can create announcements, create a ban announcement, and create a leave announcement. And then down here, it'll show you what active announcements you have. Now let's go to auto mod. Auto mod is a lot like the audit logs where it is, you, you pretty much tell it what to do. So you can tell it what bad words are here and you, you obviously don't wanna see what words are there because they're bad. But you can, that's pretty much a blacklist of words, like it said above. It'll tell you what words, if the bot senses that word, it'll immediately do what you said it to. So I said, um, if someone says it, they will, what action, it, it'll either delete, warn, or delete and warn. I'm going to do delete and warn, but it won't really mean much because I don't really have any bad words in there. Then you have links, which is... Um, just like Discord links, YouTube links, any link on the on the face of the earth, if that's sent, they'll either get deleted or warned and deleted. And then you guys can see there's mass caps, mass emojis, server invites, and mass mentions. All of that's pretty self-explanatory. It's like if someone's using all caps in a message, warn them. A lot of emojis, warn them. 
server invite, obviously deleting one, I'd say, because why would you let someone self-advertise? And then mass mentions, obviously, I would probably ban. I'm not gonna lie. I would use the exclamation point ban. Then you guys got custom commands, which is just plain text, uh, simple response. So that could be something ranging from, let's see, I was moved to AFK, uh, custom commands. It could be stuff like this. So if we do like Snickers, which is my dog, we go into bot commands real quick. So it'll, it'll be something like that. It's a text command. And then there's rule commands, kind of like if you react, you'll get a rule. Random response, almost like a text command, but you don't know what's going to happen. And then embed message, that could be something like YouTube, and it'll send you a link to a YouTube channel. Then there's levels, which is XP, typing, and there's YouTube, all, like a bunch of searching, pretty much browser commands. There's auto rule, which is very simple, auto rule, you get rules automatically. Meme creator, kind of like dank meme dank memer but in your own bot then there's a usage which is kind of like your your bots like pretty much is his purpose um how your bot should handle certain triggers and how it should handle errors um how it should handle how it should log system errors stuff like that that's like all the behind the scenes and there's status like we went over which is you you literally need um premium to do then there's co-create, which you can create with some friends, and you can generate a link to co-create. But I am pretty sure you need premium, yeah. Then there's bot list, which is premium. A short description about your bot, and pretty much you can list it to the public so people can use it. Then there's YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, Twitch. All of those are pretty simple. That's linking your social medias. Timed messages, maybe you're doing a giveaway, and um, every five minutes it'll say, join the giveaway stuff like that. Then there's economy, which I'm not really sure what economy is all about, but I, I think it's something along the lines of like you guys can trade money, use money to buy different stuff. If you guys know what economy is, it's in there. And there's music, kind of like rhythm bots, trivia, a little game section, reaction rules, weather, translator, Fortnite, Apex Legends. So near the bottom, you guys can see that there's a bunch of little like plugins that are really custom to your server that you guys can throw in. And other than that, it's really easy to make. All you have to do is get your uh, API key, you throw it in there, and then once you throw it in, you're good to go. And you can start setting up what you want. And if we go back to the Discord, you guys will see down here near the bots, your GL bot is listening to botghost.com. That's my bot. And he's pretty much his purpose is just delete server invites. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and um, comment if you guys have any questions. If we get 20 likes, we'll get premium, which it'll be a definitely a more in-depth video, I guess you guys could say, because we'll be exploring a lot of the premium features, which really bring out the whole purpose of a bot. So other than that, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you guys around.